the day for me. I get to meet Lynn again from Linear Fire Clip, <laughs> so this is a this is a gas moment. But we've got some updates on the new super clips. Is that right, Lynn? Yes, we do. They are imminent. They are coming out in the next few weeks, so the market will be excited to have them. We've got orders already, so you'll be seeing them very shortly. So we're talking about the clips to hold the steel armoured in place and the plastic conduit. So these are your yes. super clips. Yep. So everyone's excited. The 18th edition has landed. We know that premature collapsing is a big issue, and we're preventing it using your super clips. Yep. We've currently got your your fire resistive clips out to market at the moment. Yep. The super clips will be with us. Imminently. imminently. I'm just waiting for a launch date, but they're imminent. They're there. They're ready to go. I just need to launch them. Thanks, Lynn. So we're here at the Elect Show uh, and we're with Paul from Hager. So we're really excited because we're going to talk about a very specific product, which is this consumer unit. So bring the camera in, Gaz, and we'll have a look at this. So Paul, just explain to me what's uh, beautiful, new and unique about this Hager consumer unit. So we do this consumer unit now that's pre-fitted with a uh, Type 2 surge protection device. Um, so as far as the installer has to uh, concern himself with fitting this, it's nothing. So all he does is put his outgoing circuits like he did before. You can see the surge protection is literally wired from the bottom of the main switch, so we don't need any overcome protection device in here either. So it's wired from there, simply line and neutral to the top of the surge protection and the earth going away to the earth bar. Absolutely fantastic. Surge protection, you notice it's got this green window. So um, as it sees surges, this part of the surge protection device will eventually wear down. And at some point in the future, that window could be red. Yeah. Should that window be red, simply what the customer has to do is pull this cartridge out oh wow get a new cartridge and simply put it back and that's it's fantastic and it's in. that simple just a matter of remove that and yep. it just goes back in again now i've not done this before on a hagar board so let's see and that's it and that's simple as that well that's fantastic that's absolutely great now obviously surge is a big kind of discussion with the industry industry at the moment and there's all kinds of you know sort of feelings flapping around about this but what i love about this is the fact that the decisions made for you just buy this board, yep. all the calculations have been done, it's all in place, you don't have to worry about it. And also, because of the way that this is mounted within the board, we're falling within that half metre. The half a metre counts from this space here, so the line conductor to it, plus the earth away to the earth bar. Those two combined distances would hopefully be under half a metre, and you can see we're under, well under half a metre of those two distances there. So, Paul, it looks here like this doesn't have a circuit protective device on it. There's no circuit breaker on here. Uh, is that necessary? Not with this device, actually. Some manufacturers require, some don't, because there's internal protection sure. in this particular surge protection device. So yep. it is a parallel device. Um, it doesn't have to, it's not carrying current. So it's literally sitting across the line and earth, and there's a spike comes into the installation, which could go through the equipment of course and damage your electronic equipment in your house. Yep. This will momentarily switch down to earth, extremely fast of course, yep. and dissipate that surge to earth rather than it going through the installation. Fantastic, so we're not worried about that getting overloaded as we would do a conventional surge. No, it's not carrying current at all. It only carries the surge current. It doesn't carry normal load current. Brilliant, thank you for clarifying that. So Paul, another really great thing about this consumer unit that we're looking at here, um, as we said, we're calling this an 18th edition board. We've got the surge protection built in. But what's the advantage as well with this RCD? What have we got going on here? The 18th edition brought in two requirements for the RCD in a split load consumer unit like this one. The installer must take account or, or have knowledge of the type of loads connected from the RCD. We know now that a lot of electronic equipment fed in a standard house can generate um, pulsating DC faults or residual currents. So you will notice the RCD is now type A, which is a specific type that can detect these pulsating DC, Brilliant. as well as AC type RCDs. Fantastic, so if this wasn't an A type, there's a potential that this could be almost stunned by the DC leakage current correct. going back That's into exactly it. exactly correct. Yeah. And then it wouldn't trip under earth fault and conditions. Earth fault conditions yeah. So now by putting in an A type RCD, we're overcoming that problem. Yes, we are, yeah. Just yeah. absolutely brilliant. I, yeah. I love this kind of forward thinking that Hager are demonstrating here. Absolutely brilliant.
There's one, there's one other further point actually, yeah. um, in, in the 18th edition it told us to make a, a consideration for overload protection of this type of device as well. Yeah. This is the only type of device we use today that won't trip if you, as overcurrent going through it. So what we have to do is either consider how many amps could be run from the RCD, yeah. um, in which case you know these wouldn't add up to more than the RCD, right. or what we've done at Hager is actually default to the maximum current for the uh, consuming oh, assembly see. of 100 amps, so you so know it's also a, 100 amp type right, eight so RCDs. it's a 100 amp RCD, so you can never draw more current through here nope. than we can connect up to, to the, the board main, anyway. To the main board. Brilliant. What a, what a, just, it's little details like that that just make all the difference on installation. Yeah. So yeah, really beautiful work. Yeah. What a great bit of kit. Thank you very much, Paul, for introducing Pleasure. us to that. Pleasure. So Joe, that was fun, wasn't it? We've had a good day, haven't we? That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we got to meet uh, some people that enjoyed the content and we produced on both channels. Yeah, yeah, which is really nice. And we're going to continue to produce that content and we've got some new uh, new connections in the electrical industry. We think we've got a Hagar uh, new board coming, yeah, don't we? Yeah, with built-in surge protection. And we should be getting first to market the Super Clips from Linear, so we're looking forward to those products. I think it's time to cue the exit. Okay, should we do it? We've recorded an exit though, we already, have. haven't we? have. Let's cue that exit. Yep. So we met loads of people today, Joe, and we came up to us. Yeah, 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 fantastic here at the uh, Alex show at Alexandria Palace. Alvin came up to us and said he'd like to end the video. So how do we end it, Alvin? We hope this video has been some help.